So I'm just here with goal scorer of the night and hero of the night. That was a very uh, welcome return now. You've been back a couple of games now, but uh, I suppose that goal meant more to you than any of the rest uh, yeah, to be in fair, a while. To be fair, the last one uh, against Waterford was just that like, weight off my shoulders. You know, I had a few few chances against Stryder and I had one in Derry and against Finn Harps nearly every game. And after every game, I was like, when am I going to score? When am I going to score? And then to get the one against Waterford, it was just a weight off my shoulders so I could just relax with the scoring. The Dublin Derby it doesn't. I don't think it gets any bigger than that, especially the fact that uh, we obviously haven't beat them in in so long. You know, was in the pressure on that to just get over that mountain and uh, to beat them was great. And obviously the score ahead, I don't know on the score with uh, me head, but obviously it's a great, it's a great moment for me and it's a great feeling. Yeah, and obviously you mentioned about the the past record and stuff like that. So for you to come back. Um, and, and obviously deliver like that. But what was running through your minds from the from the dress room to just the whole build up to today, especially with that record point being in the back of your minds? Yeah, to be fair, look, I don't I don't try and really think about it, you know, look it is it is a massive game and sometimes you can get like yourself wound up for it, you know, and build up nervous, nervous energy and that I, I just kinda of approach it like any any other game, you know. I don't put any added pressure on myself to to go out and perform, I, I put pressure on myself just to perform in any game. But because it's it's up in the derby, I'm not gonna treat her any any better. It's a bigger crowd. It's, it has more meaning to it, you know. But I've been on the wrong end of, of a lot of them. I think in my whole spell, the last time at Rovers, I think I only beat them at, at Daily Mount. So to get over the hump of of beating them today, it's uh, it's great, you know. Obviously, they had. A, a lot of bragging rights in in this fixture, and fair deals to them. The respect like is there, you know, because we haven't we haven't beat them. But obviously, to win the game tonight is uh, it's a great feeling. Yeah, and, and more on a positive note for yourself, you're back now. Um, I think are you here a month. Yeah, uh, probably yeah, probably about a month. Yeah, yeah well, you so. seem to be really enjoying your football again, and you got yeah. a couple of assists there recently, and mm. you seem to be enjoying your football again. It's good to of see. Of course, that's the the big thing, and in me coming home, it wasn't it wasn't a decision like you saying half of it was based on football, boys, half of it wasn't. You know, I, I went away and I enjoyed my time. I pressed them, but I knew I I wasn't gonna play. So in my mind was like, what options do I have? And, the options that I would have had, it, it didn't. It didn't excite me. It didn't. It didn't make me feel like, yeah, I, I really want to uh, to do that, you know. And the chance to come back at Rovers, I knew. I knew what it was. I, I knew how how I could go about about everything, and I knew previously what I've, what I've done here, you know. And it excited me more than anything else in the UK. And people probably see it as in a different like boy. Why is he only? left a year ago and, and came back but you know at the end of the day it's it's my decision I don't have solely based on myself and I couldn't care what anybody else says you know like I, I do things for myself and for my own happiness and whether it's playing football here or Shamrock Rovers or, or anywhere else so I'm gonna make the decision based on what's what's best for me and not just football boys outside of football you know because I put a, a big value on that is in being happy and being able to just go and and live a normal life and and do things where in the UK I, I sit around most of the day, it's just me and my missus twilling our thumbs, you know. I didn't have much of a, a sociable life but now I'm back, I'm, I'm happy and I'm doing things, I'm, I'm out with the lads here, I'm, I'm playing golf, there's, there's so many more things that I'm doing and I think it's obviously enjoying football, it, it shows, you know. You, you can't just have an outside life and not be great and, and try to produce on the football pitch, you know, everything ties in together. And, Obviously, people probably see it now how how happy I am and how I'm enjoying my football. And I love her at this club, and I feel at home and, and I feel settled. Absolutely, it's great. It's great to see you like, saying that. Like, you hear so many players going abroad and saying the same and things. I think your teammate Jack Burrell, he went through a lot of that as well when he was over in England. Mm. You know, um, but you know, coming back to, to Rovers, they seem to be a totally different entity to what they were when you when you left. Firstly, yeah. and you seem to be coming back into a. a much better side. Yeah, of course, obviously. Not from, that they were bad before, but you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, I totally understand what, what you're saying. The squad there, the, the calibre of, of players in it, I knew coming home would be, you know, chasing leagues, chasing cups, you know, that excited me more than in England, you know. If I was to win something with the club, it, it mean a lot, you know, but it's into where it was when my last was here and 
and now it's a completely different, stronger squad. And you see maybe in points, tallies, and the football and the style of play that they have. And you know, on on some days, some people maybe maybe off. We have we have other brilliant players to step up and create that little bit of magic because. If you go through the midfield, the back line, the strike force that, that we have and people that can, can come off the bench, you know, it's like, you know, obviously the Gaffer had a plan three years ago and I think you're totally seeing it come into flow now as in building a squad and a density of football that he wants to play. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Graham, I said I'd keep you nice and short and sweet. No problems, so, uh, I'll keep you with that. Right? Thanks no so much for your time. Cheers, right? no worries, mate. Yeah, cheers. Thank you.